Hi, my name is Joris, or you can call me Jay Ronte. Let me bring you to my favorite part of my room. This is my full art book where I study to know more about Jesus. And this is my Asha pack. And I remembered I set the chairs wrongly on my first Asha duty. <laughs> oh, and this life jacket. Not that I don't know how to swim, but it carries a deeper meaning to love and live for others. I used to only love myself, but after I became a Christian, I grew to love others. How did it happen? I don't know, but this is how it went. So since young, my family and I, we basically lived as though we were like strangers. My dad often comes home drunk as well. And I remember there was one day he felt that my sister's room was the toilet and tried to pee in it. And um, there was a day that he also tried to strangle me. So from that day onwards, I thought to myself like, why do other dads love their kids a lot and my dad is different? So from then, I hated him and I stopped calling him dad. So feeling unloved, I tried to seek attention by entering the entertainment industry. I auditioned for many, but I also failed for many. I became insecure and jealous of those who got the roles. And um, on the outside, I'll be like, Wow, congratulations! I'm so happy for you, but on the inside of my mind, I was like, um, obviously acted better than you. I mean, so I worked doubly hard. Eventually, I landed my first major role on TV. I was practically living my dream life, but I didn't seem to compensate for the mess in my heart. But this changed when I stepped into How to God Church during Christmas three years ago. Pastor Hal shared, love people, love people. Forgiven people, forgive people. That really talked to my heart. I realized how ugly and selfish I had been. At that moment, I remembered so clearly that God whispered to me, I do not blame you. So despite everything, God still loved me and forgave me. So I was so moved. So that day, I decided to give my life to Jesus. In church, I found the best friends I could ever ask for. So whenever I perform in concerts, right, they'll be like rushing down and then like getting flowers. And another time, it was... Okay, this is so embarrassed, but they sat around a table and they kind of like watch one of the drama that I was in. And they said I was their favorite actress. Slowly, I opened up my heart to them. There was once I cried and poured up my heart to them. They prayed for me to have all my chains from my past to be broken. But I was, I was very, very, very thankful for them. Also, Father's Day never meant anything to me. But on one Father's Day, Pastor Hal surprised me with this Bible and a letter. <laughs> it's very precious to me. Once he ever told me, we will remember you as Joyce. Um, not a superstar, not a celebrity, uh, but Joyce. He told me that church is always a place you can be comfortable in. And Pastor Lee also told me she was proud of me and gave me a big hug. So I felt so warm and touched. Um, really, in church I found the loving family I could ever dream for. Then two years ago, I know my dad was diagnosed with stage 4 ca throat cancer. In the past me, I wouldn't have any feelings to it. But after encountering God's love for me, I actually found the courage to do the most difficult thing, which is to forgive my dad. So I even wrote a letter to him and visited him at the hospital. But when I reached his hospital bed, God's love and peace filled my heart. And here's part of my letter that I wrote to him. In one visit, I felt like God prompted me to share Christ with him. So that day, I shared John 3.16 held its hand and prayed for him. He had no energy to respond, but I saw tears in his eyes. A few days later, he passed on. I was sad, but I felt assured that he knew God, and I'm going to meet him in heaven one day. If not for God, I would have ended very differently. So God is really a God of miracles. <laughs> yeah. And as I put God first in my life, God also moved in my career. I landed lead roles in dramas, hosted events and advertised for these brands. 
And amidst the COVID-19 situation nowadays, it has not been the easiest for the self-employed. But God is so, so, so good. I, I conceptualized and start in an entire video for a big company, ASUS. More than that, I boldly post about my faith on social media, like this Q&A section that I have it on my Instagram highlights. Psst, I also rejected big roles or roles that requires me to do things that will not coincide with my Christian values. That's a big no-no. Yeah, and also last year, I got water baptized and I just want to proclaim God's love to as many people as I can. So today, I just want to thank God I was so broken and ugly, but he still loves me unconditionally. As I took the step of faith to trust God, he showed me miracles in my life. So friends, you too can place your trust in God, have faith and open your hearts to him today. Thank you!